On social media is what sparked the violence scene near 40th and Lloyd yesterday. A home and van were burned down, three people were shot, and a total of 10 officers and a Milwaukee firefighter were injured. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez is live with new information. Angie, we've learned the two missing girls, who many in that crowd thought were connected to the house, had never set foot inside. That's right, Ben, and thank goodness that those girls are now reunited with their families. But as you said, misleading information led to arson and injuries to both first responders and people in a crowd that just kept growing in size. Police say they were at the home near 40th and Lloyd multiple times over the concern over those missing girls. People on the scene told Fox 6 they suspected the house was involved in human sex trafficking. Police requested backup when a couch, a van, and the home in question was set ablaze. 10 police officers and a member of the Milwaukee Fire Department were injured by bricks or pieces of concrete that were thrown by people in the crowd. Chief Alfonso Morales defends the use of gas, smoke and foam projectiles after shots were fired by those in the crowd, hitting three other people that were in the crowd. What you had today is vigilantism. I'm actually about to leave right now because there's a lot of stuff going on that's taken away from us finding these kids. Now, the mother of one of the missing girls left the scene when she said the unrest was not related to a search for her daughter. Police say the girls denied going or knowing anyone that lived inside the home near 40th and, Flo and Lloyd, and there's no evidence the home was ever involved with sex trafficking. Police say the residents inside the duplex have now lost their home. They tell us that they were actually escorted away for their safety. A department spokeswoman said it's a sad situation that social media and misleading information disrupt an entire neighborhood. Police are now searching for the arson suspects and those that fired shots in the crowd. Reporting live outside Milwaukee Police Headquarters, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News.